Welcome back to Grill This, Smoke That. Today we have salmon and some healthy sides on the Blackstone. Let's get it. Here's the salmon we're gonna be cooking today. It came from Sam's Club. It is their skinless salmon, and it has a light coat of avocado oil, and it is dusted with the honey hog seasoning from Meat Church, my favorite seasoning for salmon and for chicken. We have some squash cut in medallions. We're going to put a little bit of avocado oil in here and salt and pepper. And then we have our Brussels sprouts already halved. I'll post a video right here to show you how I did that. To prepare the Brussels sprouts, you just cut off the ends and then you can cut them in half. You can quarter them if you want to, but anything that falls off can go in the trash. You can coat these with avocado oil or olive oil, but avocado oil has a higher smoke point, meaning it doesn't burn as easily on the blackstone. Then once those are cooked, we're going to coat them with balsamic vinegar and with honey. This is a gallberry honey. That's why it's a little bit darker, but it is my favorite honey. We also have our gravity fed salt and pepper grinder here, a little more avocado oil, our dome lid, and our spatulas. As always, I'll provide links to all the materials that I used in the description for the video. We're getting hungry, so let's get it. So I'm going to lay down a light layer of avocado oil. This is just for our meat right now. I'm not putting much oil at all. We're going a little healthier tonight. So I'm gonna get that smeared around and we're gonna get our salmon right there on top of that. Make sure the presentation side is facing up. We have our grill griddle at about 380 degrees. I'm gonna get these laid out here. These small pieces are what I trimmed off the bottom side and I call them appetizers because we'll test them out about halfway through the cook. And right now we're just going to let the salmon sit and sear on that side. Then we'll get them flipped over. I'll probably cut the heat off and just let them cook under a dome until the internal temperature is right, which is about 135 degrees. I have my Thermopin MK4 here to check that internal temperature when ready. While the salmon is started, I'm going to get some avocado oil on our Brussels sprouts and on our squash, and I'm gonna mix them both around. Now I've got my salt. I love these gravity fed automatic salt and pepper grinders because you can operate them with one hand. Pepper. Check the description for an Amazon affiliate link. This salmon is smelling good. I'm gonna go ahead and get it flipped. We wanna make sure we don't burn it. Notice I have everything pushed out away from the edges of the black stone so we can get a nice even heat. All right, I'm going to cut the heat off on this side and I'm going to put the dome over the top and I'm just gonna let those start cooking. Now I'm going to throw down some avocado oil on this side using a different spatula and I'm gonna get my veggies going over here. I only have this burner right here on, this one is off because I didn't want it to get too hot. Now that I'm working with all raw vegetables, I'm gonna use this, this spatula and the scraper Remember the other one has salmon juice on it. So I'm gonna make sure these are spread out on the black stone here. We did use fresh Brussels sprouts. The ones in the bag would come out mushy. And then this was also, of course, fresh squash. So I'm gonna get both spread out flat on the black stone, trying to stay away from those edges so everything cooks evenly. And I'm actually going to go ahead and cut the heat on here. And on low. Smash that thumbs up and subscribe button while I get this mixed up. I went and got my water bottle because I want to get a little steam going on these Brussels sprouts to soften them up a little bit. And I'm going to check my temperature on my salmon. We're in the 120 range on all the pieces. I'm going to give them a quick flip to make sure they're not burning on the back side, but I think we're good. I'm waiting on 135 internal temperature. Look at this color coming through in them. We're getting a nice char on these now. That's what we're looking for. I want to keep them spread out so that they can continue that char. And I probably need to flip my squash. Salmon is ready, so I'm going to get it off. I'm keeping these Brussels sprouts flipped over so they can get a nice char on each side. 
Our squash is looking great. It is charred on both sides. So I'm gonna get it into a bowl here. I did cut my heat up on this side. The Brussels sprouts are almost done, so I'm gonna hit them with the balsamic vinegar here. And now the honey is the last thing because it will burn. Make sure you get that delicious vinegar and honey coated all over these Brussels sprouts and then let them char just a little bit more. All right, these are done. I'm going to go ahead and get them moved into the bowl. I'm turning off my gas on the whole griddle. I will come back and clean this after we eat. Here's the finished product. We have a nice char on those vegetables. And the salmon has a beautiful color. It looks delicious, so let's eat, y'all. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll always take time to respond. I'm going to have a whole new series on the Blackstone dedicated to healthier food, as my wife and I are also trying to eat healthier. Click any of the videos shown on the screen right now, and they'll open right up on your device. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day.